Hey guys, this is Jen and Julian, and you're listening to X Appeal Season 2, Episode 12. Woo! Yeah. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. It's Friday. Um, it's Friday where I am. It's Friday where you are, but it's not, it's probably, it's not Friday where they are, where the audience is. Well, we're filming on a Friday, but this coming We're filming on a Friday, out. but this is running on, on a, a Thursday. Thursday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I but don't it's know It's Friday why Eve, guys. It's Friday Eve. You guys are almost there. We're almost there. What's the point of this? this I'm I'm so confused. (laughs) (laughs) It's Friday. It's Friday. It's not. When this is going to air, it's not going to be Friday. It's going to be Thursday. I'm trying to to set the stage. Oh, great. The people who are listening, like for them, it's their Thursday. For us, it's our Friday. So we're bringing that Friday energy to a a Thursday. Yeah. Which is their Thursday, but not our Thursday. (laughs) Exactly. Okay. I think we we can move on from this Friday energy thing. I think we can. (laughs) Okay. I think I just peed a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, today's topic was. Why are we with... talking the past tense? <laughs> because that's because it was decided. <laughs> what okay. year are we living in? Okay, Jen, tell us what today's topic is. Okay, today's topic is. How do we phrase it? <laughs> What makes for a happy relationship? The happiest relationships that we've ever been in, what are the key components? That is not. Yes, it is. Worded. It was <laughs> not how it was worded. You there's said. no, there's no components. <laughs> it's not. It was, it was. If there's what? one thing that could make exactly. you happy in a relationship, it, what would it be? Not, because no, you're a black no. and white person I mean, and you want to narrow everything down to is it this or is it this? Is it the one thing or is it no things? Like. Listen. The verbiage wasn't used happy. It was like, what makes a good relationship to you? So good relationship slash happier. If you can only pick pick one thing that is the yeah. most important. So exactly so, what I just said. Not not even close, but that's okay. So we're already fighting. We're already fighting. We're already fighting. I'm, but I know, but this, because I think you and I are going to have different opinions. So when you think of a relationship, what is that one important thing for you that you like? This, you know, whatever it is, I, you know, it could be, uh, I'm sure you're going to come in with trust. The, the no, most common one, but it's like, not. what is, okay, it's great. It's not. So what is it? Just one. Just one. Yeah. Will you let me pee with the door open? No, <laughs> that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Mine is respect. Respect. Why? Because I feel like if you have respect for the other person then every other important uh parts of a relationship falls into place mm-hmm. trust commitment dedication uh and then and doing what you can to make the other person happy and to give them what they want so for me it's for me it's respect yeah and i've been in very disrespectful relationships and i know how important it is to have that base level of respect for another person like i can't even tell you how do you see what are the the manifestation? How does respect shows itself in a relationship to you? Like a um, concrete you, example. A concrete example. I'll give you a concrete example of what is disrespectful. Can I do that? Sure. But then I would like and to know. I'll give you a like, concrete yeah. example of what respect is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have been at a meeting, and this I used to work with my ex husband, mm-hmm. and we were at a uh, a board meeting. And I tried to throw my two cents in, and he says, Jen, stop. The, the adults are talking at the table. Mm. Yep. That was disrespect. Uh, also, why, why are you at the board meeting of his company? I, because I, I don't know, to be perfectly honest. I was, I was his wife. I was also on the, uh, on the, what do you call it? I was like a correspondent, whatever, on air for for the golf network. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was I was a part of these meetings because it was like a smaller upstart venture. So everybody kind of did everything. And yeah. so I was producer and uh, shareholder and, uh, you know, on air. OK, so, yeah, I mean, I had a seat at the table, but I, he made me feel like I, my opinion didn't matter at all. Yeah. That's, uh, that's cool for sure. And then uh, for, uh, an example of respect is 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 never minimizing, for example, what I do for a living uh, or my path to get there mm-hmm. or just, you know, like Jared will 
I mean, I can tell he has a lot of respect for me as a girlfriend and as a mother. Just by the way, he's super patient with me. He doesn't uh, throw like ultra heavy demands on me. He understands that I might be bogged down with work and being a mom. So like, he's mm -hmm. not going to ask too many things of me. Um, because I think he just, he respects my time. He respects me as a person. Uh, it, it shows itself in a lot of different, just like, I, I think, I think he is so patient and compassionate with me that that in and of itself shows that he respects me. He's okay. never once, never once ever has made me feel like I'm lesser than ever. He wouldn't dare. Um, yeah. So, so I think that that, and I have, and I honestly, we have barely fought. We've barely had arguments. Um, he's never made me cry ever. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we really do like, we really work at, at communicating whenever we do have, have disagreements and we don't see eye to eye. We talk about it. There's no like shouting or yelling or, you know, nobody kind of like gets their gets their blood boiling or 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 like the temperature in the room stays as it is, you know. Yeah. Um, so you're able to have like respectful. Yes, adult respectful. Conversation. Yeah, because I respect who he is as a person, so I'm not going to disrespect him by like getting in his face or shouting or talking down to him or anything like that. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Um, I've been thinking about it and I was oscillating. One of them was respect because I do feel like, you know, it's super, super important, but yeah. Um, I think my answer is freedom. Freedom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Freedom um, to, to be your own person, freedom to do yeah. what, what you need to do to make yourself happy. Yeah. I, I agree yeah, with that. That's very I, important. I, you know, and what you said earlier, it's like, you know, t for you to be the best person, you know, they can and, and give them what they need. Yeah. Um, but I tend to see sometimes relationship as like, and that might be too much on my end, but I tend to see as two separate individual, right? So you need to get your happiness on your own and I need to get my own happiness and then together we can create our own. But I don't want me, I don't want my partner to be the person who's responsible for my whole happiness right 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 uh, and that's yeah to to like long-term sustain a relationship like that yeah i mean you it's like being your own entity within your couple it's like being your own right person i see too many couples that it's them constantly it's them it's and they don't have, they don't have blah, other blah, friends blah. or anything like that yeah well they well they don't do anything on their own it's always yeah. well okay well yeah we're coming and i'm just like well that's great. But the more I see those, I think, I think the less I feel like, um, I, I think, you know, you need a balance. It's like, because the counter argument to that is like, well, why wouldn't you want your partner to be with you all the time and do all these cool things? Yeah, and I'm but just I like, mean, I don't you know. were, you I feel were like individuals before you met and you should, you should remain individuals because you have your own, I, I have friends that aren't friends with Jared. Jared mm -hmm. has his own friends that I haven't met yet. And it doesn't have to be like so intermixed and intertwined. And I, I do think that it, and that also, by the way, comes down to respect. You respect the person enough to be their own individual throughout the yeah. length of the relationship. Yeah. And I feel like that f when you give freedom to your partner, you automatically, you know, give trust. Mm -hmm. um, because I think like sometimes it's freedom. It's like, you, I'm not talking about freedom to go and date whatever you want or whoever you want and, and do all these things. But it's like this idea, I don't know. I, I, you know, sometimes I talk to like older couples that are still married and they, they mention like, well, you know, you got to make sure you have your four hours of golf every day so that you have your own time. And I'm just <laughs> like, that doesn't sound cool to me. That, that sounds sound escapist. Like yeah, exactly. It's like, I want to feel like in my relationship, I'm free to leave for a month if I need to, or if I want to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, leave, I will. well, leave for a month. That's pretty. That's pretty intense. I mean, if if, if it's for work or whatever, but like if you just want to like up and leave because you just don't want to be there anymore, that's a little shitty. Like, there's got to be some kind of commitment there. Like, okay, I'm not gonna like just get up and leave you for a month at a time. No, um, no, but it's but like if it's, it's for a commitment, like a work commitment or whatever, then yeah. Well, for a work commitment, obviously, you have to. Yeah. Like, 
I think I think it's the idea of it being okay. Like again, yeah. if if your if your partner says, "Well, no, you can't just decide to leave for a month." Now I don't feel free. I'm not going to leave for a month, but the idea that you can Okay, okay. I see just, that. It's kind of like that. this thing, right? It's like when you tell somebody they can't do something, they want to do it, and if if it's kind of like, "No, of course." Or this idea It's a cage saying, bird theory. You you I don't so. leave the cage closed. You you leave the freedom for the person to come and go as they please, but they're not going to leave because they have that freedom. Yeah. I think so. It's kind of like tricking, you know, you're tricking yeah, yourself into yeah. being like, um, it's like reverse psychology. Yeah, no, go, go I and do it, so. go and do it. It's fine. And also I feel like that just, I don't know. I have too many, I, I hear too many like stories of, of, um, men, unfortunately, when we talk about men needing to escape their like day to day or be feeling like, you know, Hey, you want to do this? And it's like, well, uh, I'd love to, but Man, I gotta ask my wife. Uh, I know, and then sure it becomes like be, an obligation. Then it becomes you know, a relationship. I'm not sure if obligation. she's gonna be cool with it. And I'm just like, yeah. well, you're your own human. If right. you want to do it, you should be able to do it. Again, assuming you are being respectful to your partner, right? It's, it's right. Like, we're not saying, hey, you want to go get some escorts? No, that's not. No. But like, you want to go it's, do it's this? Like, it's like you know, I went out. I went out with my girls until four o'clock in the morning. This was this was pretty recently. And yeah, it was like a bit of a conversation, but only because I stayed out that late. It had nothing to do with the idea of me going out with my girls, even if I had been out until like one o'clock in the morning. Like it wouldn't have been an issue at all with him because he he's like, I don't see it. I see it as you're feeding a need to be with your friends and to hold on to something that, made you happy before I came along. And it's very important. Mm -hmm. You can't lose your identity in, in, in a relationship. I, too many people have done that and they've wound up miserable. You give up too much of yourself for the other person. And it's not fair. Yeah, I know. I, I see this uh, this girl I know uh, on the gram and her and her husband are fucking glued to each other. Yeah. Constantly. Every single story is them together at a restaurant and then they go there and then they go on vacation together and then they're at the gym together. I'm just like, <laughs> I, I also, also something that I've realized too is a lot of uh, implants like myself, like people that left the country to go you move mean, You mean country. transplants. Implants transplants are something that you buy the at the doctor's office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Transplants. You're right. Transplants. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Well, I implanted myself in the U.S., no, no, that's how, that that makes you sound like an actual alien. Like okay, great. Right. <laughs> from outer right. space. So transplants, like myself, I feel like kind of relate to that a bit more. Yeah, because like I left, I've been alone for all this time. It's important for me to have this kind of not uh, not alone, but I mean, I think especially the idea that you are if you the older you are too, the the longer of a life you've had without that person, the yeah. longer you've had you know uh, to be with. Like, I don't know if you've been single for a while, especially before that relationship, like you have to get back to, to how you were. You really do. Um, so I, I, I think that, yeah, it's, that's, that's really important. The freedom and the flexibility is really important. But then again, don't you think that that freedom comes out of respect because they respect you enough to give you that kind of liberty without questioning and making you feel like you're doing anything wrong. Um, I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like the freedom that you have is you having freedom ultimately also gets you respect, right? Instead of having respect that gets you freedom. Yeah. I, they're kind I mean, of intertwined. Yeah. That's what I was, I was saying. I was kind of oscillating because it's like they're both somewhat, but like, um, yeah, the, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like I, I, some, some, I, the, some of the couples I see, like long term or older people that I have conversations with about it. Um like when I hear how they did their relationship, I, I'm just like, that doesn't sound like it doesn't sound fun. Yeah. I there mean There has to be a middle ground. There has to be a middle ground in a, a relationship where you feel free as a person, but you also have a very fruitful and solid relationship with your partner. Right. Yeah, because I know that if I didn't have if I didn't have the ability or if I felt like I didn't have the freedom to go out with my girlfriends, uh, then 
I, I wouldn't be happy in my relationship at all. I would yeah. feel like as soon as those as soon as those parameters come up, as soon as uh you you just feel like you're you're like too many demands are being put on you as an individual. Mm-hmm. Like where's and again to me it triggers like a lack of res- a lack of respect. Like you don't respect me enough to 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 let me kind of be my own person with, with and and uh, and trust me enough to not make mistakes without you. Yeah, but it's so different too for you because you have a kid now. So it's like it's out of your, you know, as much as your partner can give you all the freedom you want, you still have your kid. Oh like yeah, I mean that's like, yeah the the times that I'm able to to go out on my own are very limited but yeah or even saying like oh uh you and uh your friend are gonna you, you're taking a week to go whatever oh yeah explore, no I whatever couldn't. this you can't do if you didn't have no. the kid you would be able to if i didn't if have were... i have the have ethan i would i would be able to and i'm saying be able to but like i J, uh, jared wouldn't have a problem with me yeah. going for a girl's weekend like a yeah. long girls weekend uh, to to Cabo or yeah. Puerto Vallarta or whatever it might be. Yeah. He would have no I, problem with that. And, and and vice versa, by the way, I would have no problem with him going. I encourage, I encourage him to get out there with his guys. I really do. You really? Because do. I feel like he deserves it. Like he deserves a guy's night out. He really does. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what do you say about like, cause some often you'll hear girls like, yeah, but like, why does he need to be with his guys? Like what's the why? So so you can why why not? Why why not? What I mean every every person needs needs to be around people of their own, like people who've known them before the relationship started, or people who they just share. You can share things with your girlfriends that you just can't share with your with your significant other. Yeah, but what's so? That's my question. Like, what do you say to the people that says, "Well, guy and girl, huh?" That says, "Well, why would my partner?" Why do you want to have a girls' night so much? Like, what? Because you can talk to guys and flirt while I'm not here. That's usually so you can the blow main response. Steam. I mean, I get that, and I'm not gonna lie when I say that part of the reason that going out with my girls is fun is because, yeah, like you get you you do get hit on. I, I'm more inclined to get hit on when I'm out with my girls than if I'm on it on, with Jared. And and yeah, like that feeds need in and of itself, like. Everybody wants to feel desirable. Everybody wants to feel and and like empirically desirable, not not desirable in a way that like is is from your partner. Because it's mm. like your mom saying you're pretty. Like of course you're gonna say. Of course you're you're biased. Like of course. Um, and that's not to say that there's any payoff from that. Like it's just the idea of somebody outside of the relationship thinking, oh, like you're attractive. Because we don't. I, sometimes I don't feel good about myself, and it's nice to like go out and 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 know that i still i've still got it yeah but if <laughs> you know what i mean but if your man tells you you still got it it's not as valid as a stranger i think there's love there i think there's like a lot of a lot of love that that gets kind of clouded in the way i mean uh, see here i don't agree i yeah me, my I, partner my partner saying i still got it is more important than some random hoe in the street yeah i mean i i don't for me it's it, we're just different you and i are just different people yeah um seeking validation from strangers i know is not necessarily something that's uh that is something to be proud of um but that's why instagram was created you know how, how many people post post photos not for their significant others or not for their families or friends to to comment on but for strangers to uh, comment on and i hate instagram i wish it never was ex- i, I never mean me too but you can't put the toothpaste back in the in the bottle but i think you know and maybe it's a man woman thing i don't know um maybe i just know that i personally went through like a little crisis of of confidence after i had ethan yeah and i didn't feel desirable anymore and it was nice to like it to go out with my girls and and get hit on the way I used to get hit on before mm-hmm. baby. Mm-hmm. You know, it makes me feel it almost like makes me feel normal again. Like it makes me feel like okay, all right. But, well, I'm still Jen. <laughs> but this I so this I understand. I think if your if your partner doesn't even express it. Oh no, and he does all the time. He does all the time. This is where this is where I get a little confused because most I feel like most women would express that and want experience that if their if their partner is like a mute on how pretty he thinks they are. But if that's not the case, 
I guess you, I guess that extra like random person validation is, is well, everybody need. needs something different as a way yeah, to, exp- exactly. as a way to like feed that need. Okay. Yeah. So like f- with Jared, I can compliment bomb him until the, until I'm dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's not going to feel desirable unless there's physicality behind it. Yeah. Um, and he, we, in one of the conversations we had, he said, you know, I, I, I don't even have that chance like you do to go out, um, and be with my guys and get hit on by random girls. He said to me, that would feel nice because it kind of means that I'm, I'm still attractive and mm-hmm. still like, like empirically attractive. And by empirically attractive, I mean like just you, you see somebody who yeah, is a hot guy. Right. Yeah. Right. As opposed to somebody who, you know, like you love and, and I, I, to me, like, yeah, it's a little biased, um, coming from, coming from Jared because he loves me and I love him. And I think that in some ways he looks at whenever I say you're super hot, you look super hot today. I feel like sometimes he thinks that's a little biased, <laughs> mm. you know? No, I, I get it. I get that. Cause he, he said, he said stuff like, well, you know, like whenever I see a guy walking down the street, I, there's certain things about him that I notice what's noticeable about me. Yeah. You know? Everybody wants to feel. No, yeah, absolutely. I understand. Feel that I understand. way. I mean, it, it you know, uh, I, I could see how a stranger, if you're walking down the street and a stranger says, hey, you're so hot. Like, it's like, there's, like, a, there's oh. a part of it you're, the, where it makes you feel good. I'm sorry, yeah, but like, sure. as long as it's not super creepy and like, you know, uh, scary, uh, but it is kind of nice to to have that that validation outside yeah. of a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see. And that's just yeah. taking it for what it's worth. Like, there's nothing behind it. I don't ever plan to act on it, obviously, but it's just nice to hear a compliment every once in a while. So for any listeners, if you ever see Jane, Jen on the street, just make sure yeah. you say, hey, you're hot as shit. Just tell me how hot I am. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You make her feel good. Make my about day. Herself. But but another, I'll give you another example. Like <laughs> Jared, like if, I, if I'm wearing a, a dress or whatever, like Jared can say – you look super hot in that dress and it makes me mm-hmm. feel good. Yeah. Yeah. But then it makes me feel somehow better <laughs> if I hear it from like a woman, like even a woman, like, Oh yeah. At a farmer's market. Yeah. We were walking through a farmer's market and she was like, girl, you're gorgeous. And I was like, Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it made Jared's, me feel really good because it's coming from a stranger. she's like, I told you that this morning. It's, yeah, I know. And it's coming from a stranger who has no agenda. That's, I guess that's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay. You debated it well. At the end of the day, Julian, we all just want to feel val- valuable. And I kind of think that's where all this is is coming from. You want to feel valuable. You want to feel respected and loved. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. That's it. Bang. That our question of the day. Awesome. Yeah. I will let you do the outro today because the last oh. one I did was very awkward. So you it was say, awkward because like there was no ending. Like it's an ending. Just you can end the you can end it very easily. Like bye guys. Yeah. Or, Toodles and tatas. Okay. See you later, <sighs> alligators. That's worse. That's worse than what after I did. a while, crocodile. Okay, you, bye. you do it. You do it. Bye. It. Okay, bye. That's it. We're done. No, we're done. That's okay, it. Okay, we're done for today. And then that's we'll it. See you we're in done. Two weeks. Okay. Well, but, bye. Huda Media Production.